Well, hello there, it's Darren here. This is the final rocking of the rhubarb wine. So, uh, as you can see, it has got a slight pink half, you know, kept that. I think I've done quite well, as you can see, it's... It looks, like I say, it's more... Uh, murky than it does when I'm looking it looks pink but yeah I think I've kept that anyway I've tasted it smelling because mm. it was back sweetened with a kilo of sugar yeah, and it's been all it's been left there for three weeks this Sunday what the day so yeah it tastes quite nice but I still want that hint of rhubarb in the background so I was at uh, Sainsbury's and I seen these. I think they were two pound ninety nine. So I've got three rhubarb and I've got two of the ginger. So I've tasted that. It's just like when you when you like you say freshly pressed say uh, rhubarb. I've just got apple in. Someone I'd say it's better to put apple and rhubarb together because you can retain the flavour. Whether that's correct or not, I don't know. But anyway. Uh, it's it's cloudy. Uh, it ain't clear like that because obviously it's freshly pressed. But I'm not bothered as long as I can get a bit of a rhubarb taste in there. So I'll add it to this. Well, no, well, no. I'll transfer this first, then add it, then give it a taste. But yeah, even if I left it, I still think like it says it's got a bit of a pink haze there, and I can slightly taste. The back note in the background, a little rhubarb. Uh, you know, I'll make it the next time and try. Uh, see if I can do it differently. See if I can find a better recipe. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to put this in. You may think it's, you know, you can't do that. Yeah, I can. So I'm going to do that and see what it tastes like. All right, so all of them in there. Yeah, you think, well, it's five litres I've put in there. You're going to dilute it. But the thing is, it's so bloody strong. It's unbelievable how strong that is. Uh, so yeah, it might dilute a little bit, but I'm going to see what the flavour is like when it's finished. So, it's been transferred, so I don't know how much is in there, 30 litres, that's in there. So I'll pour myself a glass, it'll be cold crashing in here. And I'll keep getting asked what's racking, racking off from one barrel to another, to get rid of the sediment. Cold crashing is basically, hopefully when it's cold, it settles everything, crashes to the bottom. So this will be a little bit cloudy after I showed you previously. So I'll pour me some out. Pour me some a glass and then I'll go into the kitchen. I've got that much going on. God, look at all that. Apple and caramel cider. But anyway, we'll do this one. So I poured it. So it's slightly a bit more murky than it was before. And look at all the sediment. That's just letting it lie for three weeks, even though wasn't much in, so I'm going to give this a taste. I'll give it a smell first. You know what it is, as soon as I put that in, I can smell the uh, rhubarb and the ginger. Mm. Yeah, rhubarb and ginger. Even though more than anything, it, it just probably will be more of a power than the uh, rhubarb, but that's what I wanted. Mm -hmm. So, as I said, it'll go into the, to the utility room there, so it'll cold crash. Uh, the taste might mellow out, we'll just see. Uh, yeah. It ain't uh, hindered the alcohol uh, level there. Oh, it's still strong. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So that's another one sorted. Uh, I've just started the one for summertime. Uh, our raspberries, don't ask us how much I put in there. I mean, I put loads in, absolutely loads, from this summer, last summer. So we've got 
There's loads of fruit in there, as you can see. See how much fruit that's liquid at the bottom. And that's all the fruit pulp there. So that's gone up to 20 litres. So uh, <clears throat> we'll see. I'm going to leave that for a week. And hopefully this will be the summer one. You know, that's December. And uh, I'm thinking about summer already. Anyway, it's bye from me. Hopefully, if you've tried the rhubarb one, it works out great. And if you want to back sweeten it, use the pressed rhubarb from Sainsbury's. It's bye from me and it's bye from me new raspberry wine. See ya.